a warm welcome to all of my students today uh, we are taking the disaccharide part so let us start with <coughs> now the structure of maltose now we say maltose it is known as malt sugar and is obtained from the careful hydrolysis of starch in aqueous in aqueous acids so when we are doing the careful hydrolysis of starch in starch is a polysaccharide and from that polysaccharide we are getting the sucro uh, maltose we also call it as malt sugar and maltose is a white crystalline salt and is dextro rotatory now maltose is produced by the action of malt on starch when starch that is c6h10o6 whole n plus n by 2h2o that is hydrolysis occurs in presence of diastase it gives us c12h22o11 that is the maltose maltose is a reducing sugar that is it reduces the bandic tolerance and phalanges reagents so we say that one of the rings at least one ring is having a free aldehyde or a ketonic group c double bond o that convert that is uh, that is having an aldosis or a ketosis group and that ketosis group converts into aldoses before showing the reducing nature it reacts with phenyl hydrazine to form an osazone having a formula c12 h20 o9 n nh nh nh2 so we can say that we are having a at least one ch O or we can say a carbonyl group C double bond O that combines with hydrazine. If it combines with the phenyl hydrazine, then it can form a this is hydrazine. If it combines with the phenyl hydrazine, it can form a oso zone so uh, when it combines there will be the loss of water molecule and there is the formation of a c double bond n h n h2 so there is the formation of c double bond n h n h2 molecule in this molecule <clears throat> in this. so we can say that there is the form there is at least one ring which is having a carbonyl group it can be a ketosis or aldosis group it undergoes mutation this shows that at least one aldehyde group is free in maltose so all these things that is the first second and third where we would say we can say that among from these we can say that it has having at least one aldehyde group free in the maltose so when hydrolyzed with diluted acid it yields two molecules of d glucose d plus glucose so you can say that we are doing the hydrolysis one when, when we are using the maltase and uh, it hydrolyzes to give us the glucose one molecule and another molecule of glucose so what it means that at least one of the groups is free one of the anomeric groups is free because we can say that it is a reducing nature that converts when we are doing the hydrolysis it converts into the aldehyde group and that hydrides that shows the hydrogen formation or that shows the uh, reducing nature so at least one of the two the two uh, one is free and the second one may be free or may not be free so we can say that the linkage is created by the anomeric carbon of one and the other carbon of the second any of the carbons we can say that when we say that if it is a carbon hydroxyl group at carbon one we say anomeric linkage if it is a carbon two we say that it is uh, alpha two linkage gamma two linkage that is that indicates the number of carbon where it is attached three four five similarly we can say that which number of the hydroxyl group is attached and we are indicating it with the number in this case we can say that the hydro when it is hydrolyzed then we are having at least one anomeric carbon free and that carbon will act in, uh, uh, to react for the hydrogen formations now <clears throat> this is uh, how we can um, have this structure from the above we are having the, the structure that two uh, glucose molecules are combined and at least one of the glucose molecules is free anomeric uh, glucose molecules are is free so you can say that this is the molecule which is free which will give us the uh, link hydrogen formation other things so there we are having the other one which is bound 
so this has been again formed by the other reaction schemes that we will discuss whether it is the uh, o uh, oxygen which has been the carbon which has been converted or not so we have free aldehyde group for osazone formation that is how it goes on so we say further works when we have it is the maltose is 4 osazone 4 o oxygen o oxyglycoside 4 o alpha d that means the d linkage alpha alpha uh, linkage the hydroxy group f1 glyco glycose glucose molecule is alpha that is having alpha linkage that is below the link below the plane alpha d glycopyranosyl pyranosyl it is in the sixth form uh, ring that is the uh, ring uh, that is present uh, ring form that is pyranose form of ring pyranosyl d glycopyranose this one is formed by the carbon the hydroxy group which is at the carbon 4 because we said that one of the carbons is free <coughs> one of the anomeric carbons is here free when one of the anomeric carbons is free then the fourth carbon of that ring is connected with the anomeric carbon of the second so we said thus in maltose the reducing half is linked to a non-reducing half through the n alpha linkage so we are saying that an anomeric hydroxy group which is used it is alpha that is it is below the plane of the ring the enzyme maltase supplements only a glycoside link so why we are using the maltase here enzyme because maltase is having enzyme maltase is having a character it does not affect for ring opening in the previous slide you can see that uh, agar uh, we are using if we are using some other um, hydrolysis so there is possibility that this ring will be opened so it is difficult to so we since we need to uh, disconnect only this hydrolyze only this glycosidic linkage we are using the enzyme maltase because maltase is having the character that it only works on the glycoside linkages so this indicates that the enzyme maltase supplements only glycoside linkage and hence is used to ascertain the presence of this bond in disaccharides and polysaccharides that is the use of this enzyme now how this structure has been confirmed we have many methods to know that um, whether it is having maltase having structure like this or some other um, uh, structures because based on the first points like we are saying that whether it is reducing it is not reducing it forms the oxazyme it does not form the oxidizyme it is uh, having a metal reduction or it does not have a metal reduction so we are other uh, chemical reactions also which will give which will us give us an approximate structure and from that approximate structure now we are going to find the final structure of the molecule so you can say that this is a reaction sequence which have been used in this case we are using the bromine water first part is bromine water free anomeric carbon <coughs> so in that case we find that we are getting an acid that is an maltonic acid so you can see that one of the hydro the benzene the glucose rings is opened and it forms an acid that is it is oxidized to acid and the second ring where the anomeric carbon is actually used for glycosidic linkage does not form an acid so it remains connected and only the one which is free converts into an carboxylic acid that is how it shows the reducing character it is the reducing it shows the reducing it reduces the benedict's benedict solution of a solution and it is converted into an acid now this maltonic acid when it is used for methylation we are doing the methylation because we are again as we do in case of sucrose that we are having these free hydroxy groups and we want to uh, limit these hydro we want to know the position of these hydroxy groups which are present already present in our group uh, in the maltose molecule what we are going to do is we are using the limiting reagent we, we are using the uh, methylation reaction to bind to protect these methoxy groups for further reaction and it will also give us an idea that which hydroxy groups are free and these free hydroxy groups will be used for the further reaction so when you come to this molecule you can say that when we are doing the methylation all the free hydroxy groups they have been methylated for example the hydroxy groups i have mentioned above they have been methylated and they are giving och3 groups and this forms a methyl ester of 
मिथाइल एस्टर बिकॉज ऑफ ऑक्टा ओ मिथाइल मेथानोइक एसिड मिथाइल एस्टर ऑफ ओ तो इट इज वाई इट इज एन एस्टर बिकॉज वी कैन सी दैट दिस फ्री एसिडिक ग्रुप दैट वॉज सी एयर प्रेजेंट इट हैज बिन कन्वर्टेड इन टू एन एस्टर सो वी सी इट इज एन मिथाइल एस्टर ऑफ ऑक्टा ओ मिथिड वेन फर्दर इट इज हाइड्रोलाइज now uh, we are not using here we are using the hydrolysis of acl because we are not using the uh, maltase as an enzyme we are not using the enzyme here because we know that <coughs> already the ring which was uh, about to cleave is already cleaved here it is a free structure now so when we are using the acl we are getting the hydrolysis we are doing the hydrolysis now we are getting two new molecules and these two new molecules are two glucose molecules so we say that maltose when oxidized water produce an maltonic acid and monocarboxylic acid so methylation of maltonic acid yields methyl ester of octa o methyl malonic maltonic acid then methyl maltonic acid on hydrolysis with acl yields 2 3 4 6 tri oxo methyl diluco methyl d glucose this one 2 it is 2 you can say 2 3 and 6 so in this case you will find that it is the cooh has been converted into ch3 so it has already confirmed that the cooh3 is u is it is a free and we can say that there is one that is sorry 2 3 it is 5 and 6 to 2 3 5 6 try oxo methyl 2 3 5 6 and we are having the one hydroxy group free at four position we say that this group is used for glycosidic linkage so please do correct it here that it is not 2 3 4 6 it is Now the linkage is alpha, so we say that this hydroxy group which is there, it is alpha to the main compound, and it gives us the final. Uh, before thanking you, I think we should do at least one one synthesis for both. So I I will be uh, in my next slide, next presentation. I will discuss the synthesis of both sucrose and maltose, and I will be taking another uh, one um, that is. Uh, another one disaccharide and then i may move to the polysaccharide so i have taken an example of one polysaccharide disaccharide that is reducing and one disaccharide which is non reducing and in next slide we'll be taking one more example then we may uh, move to polysaccharide so in maybe in the second one we will be completing the polysaccharide the constitution of polysaccharides and disaccharides so you have an idea of the constitution that is we have to say how these molecules have been connected how they have been formed and what are the monomers or mono, uh, mono monosaccharides which have been used for the synthesis of these molecules so i am hopeful that you have completed and you have, you have understood this if there is any issue then please do call me on my number that is mentioned on the first slide or do write me on my whatsapp group thank you thank you very much